When we look further into accuracy, we have some guidelines to determine uh, the success our students are having in their accuracy level. To be successful at reading text accurately with few decoding mistakes, a teacher must have the student read in a book that's appropriate for them. And what we classify this as is their children's independent or instructional reading level. So when you would choose a book as a teacher, you want to figure out what is that just right book for reading on your own, and what is that just right book for reading with a facilitator or a teacher right beside you. The book that is perfect for a child to read on their own is at their independent reading level. And this is a book that a child will be 95% or more accurate in reading the words on the page. So when we, when we do an assessment, and the assessment is called a running record, we'll hear more about that during assessment week, the boys and girls will read to the teacher, and the teacher will check each word that is correct in the text. At the end, we'll do a little bit of math, and we'll find out what is their word accuracy. And if it is 95% or higher, we know that book is at the independent reading level of that student. Now, at the independent reading level, we know the child can go read it on their own and they'll encounter just a few words that they don't know, probably figure them out, and even if they don't, the comprehension of the text will not be affected in any way. Now, when we read with students in maybe a guided reading group or a shared reading lesson, we would put that child in, at their instructional level. This is where, when assessed, they would read 90 to 95 I'm sorry, 90 to 94 percent of the words accurately on the page. And that means they make a little bit more mistakes with the text than the independent level, but you as the teacher are there to guide them through that book or to give them clues or to help them use those strategies we talked about when we talk about decoding. We remind them to look at the picture. We remind them to use the context of the sentence and reread. We might remind them to use the grammar of the sentence and reread. We might remind them, does that make sense? Does that look right? And so students may make a few more mistakes at this level, but it's okay because we are there, and they can still be successful in their fluency at the accuracy level. So these are the books we want to put our students in when we are instructing them about new skills because we need to have something to teach them in these books. So successful students on fluency have to be able to read the text accurately. And so we could say that's the independent or instructional level. Now, that is 95% or 90 to 94% accuracy. And really, in a book that's short, that means they can only make a few mistakes. When you are below 90% word accuracy in a book, you are going to frustrate that reader. And I've seen it so many times. And when we frustrate our readers, number one, they're not going to understand the words on the page because they're putting too much effort into figuring out what those words are. They can't tell you what they mean. So comprehension is not going to happen. Fluency will not happen because they're taking too long to decode the words and there's too many words to decode. So it slows them down. And... More importantly, is they're going to hate reading because they're frustrated. Think of something you're frustrated at doing. Do you want to keep doing that over and over again? No. So we need to make sure that when we put a child in a book that they're not going to be frustrated. And that means we have to kind of gauge at all times what would their level be. Now, this is hard when you're talking about children that aren't sitting around you every day, but when you're in a classroom as a teacher and you're constantly assessing or monitoring each student, you know what their independent level is and their instructional level, and you know when they've selected the wrong book. So to have fluency, we have to only be looking at reading during independent or instructional leveled books, and that's how we have accurate readers.